Hi there, I'm Janessa Finley with Fiercely Radiant Soul. I am a mindset alignment specialist, energy psychologist, and I also use blood labs with a functional medicine approach to help our overall physical wellness. I'm super excited to be here with you this evening to bring you this meditation experience and to give you a format to be able to fall into a deeper meditation much more quickly than traditional meditation practices. Hello, Joni. Hello, Shannon. Thanks for jumping in here. It's good to see you guys. So the last few months we've been talking about, and I'll just briefly review, just very summarized version of these videos um, while we wait for a few more people to hop on. And if you didn't catch them and anything trips your trigger, you can jump into the guides or scroll down and find them on the board or our YouTube channel is another place where you can find these videos as well. So we've been talking about the ways that the brain is programmed in a default manner. It doesn't necessarily support what we want to have or what we want to achieve in life. The brain very much is programmed to keep us alive and safe and well. It doesn't care if we're happy. It doesn't care if we're fulfilled. And that is the job of the heart. But just because our brain is wired in a default way doesn't mean that our brain is inflexible. It doesn't mean that we don't have tools and tricks to be able to get our brain programmed in a way that truly serves us with the goals that we have, with the dreams that we have, with the things we want to achieve. And if we think about everything beginning in the brain, then that is our greatest asset. And if we have the ability to work with our brain in a way that's going to allow it to work for us, then we can be our own best ally. We can create our reality. We can achieve everything that it is we want to achieve because we know the secrets to making it happen, right? So you guys get comfy, get ready. We're gonna jump into this meditation here right away. I'm not going to talk at you for any long amount of time this evening. I really want this to be the experience. And just so you know what you're about to experience with this meditation, as it is a little bit different. First of all, I'm all about giving credit to where credit is due. This work was designed, created, researched by Dawson Church. And so this is his beautiful product that incorporates EFT tapping, specifically the EFT version. Hello, Sammy Joe. And so it's going to incorporate breath work, breathing in a specific sequence, tapping, and also the tongue. The tongue is an important element of this because it works with the vagus nerve, which runs through your nervous system and really allows your brain to fall into those deeper brain waves as I'm just going to refer to them as and not get super scientific. But we want to take you to that place where the brain is, uh, let's say, malleable or programmable, where we can align the subconscious with what we want to achieve. So this whole process in meditation is going to have a very specific focus for you here this evening. But the first portion of this you can take and use to get you into that deeper meditation with your own intentions hereafter. So you don't always have to replay with this one specific thing in mind. However, it is lovely and you're going to feel super lovely at the end. So if it resonates for you and you want to reuse it as you do, by all means, have at it. That's why these videos are here. So without further ado, if you're not already comfy, get comfy, lay down, sitting, whatever your meditation style is. If anyone out there who's watching this has never meditated before, if you often fall asleep when you lay down, then I would encourage you to sit. You can sit with your legs crossed if you'd like, with your hands on your knees. Or if you don't have any issues with laying down and you prefer that's my personal preference. If I meditate, actually moving, walking or working out is my go-to, but to do a meditation of this style, I prefer to lay down. I don't fall asleep and I feel like I can get into a deeper meditation 
if I am laying down. So the moral of my story is do what works best for you. Find what your secret magic space is that will take you into the deepest level of allowance and do it. There is not one specific thing that works for everyone that it has to be a certain way. So with that, take a deep breath and let it out. Feel the breath flowing naturally in and out of your body. And imagine your breath flowing in and out through your heart. Tap gently on the side of your hand. And imagine all the stress leaving your body. Tap on the top of your head. Then on your eyebrow point. Side of the eye. Under the eye. Under the nose. under the mouth, under the collarbone point, under the arm, and the side of your hand. As all stress and tension now leaves your body. Imagine your breath flowing in and out through your heart and slow your breathing down to six seconds per in-breath and six seconds per out-breath. Breathing in in six seconds Breathing out six seconds. Relax your tongue completely on the floor of your mouth. And imagine the volume of space inside your feet, inside your hands, inside your whole body. Imagine the volume of space between your eyes and notice how relaxed your tongue is on the floor of your mouth as you breathe through your heart. Six seconds in. And six seconds out. Imagine a huge beam of love and light pouring in through the top of your head. This is the universe's love for you. Life energy pouring in every moment, filling your body, mind, and energy field. Tongue relaxed on the floor of your mouth. Big empty space between your eyes. Breathing in six seconds. Breathing out six seconds. As the flow of the energy from the universe pours in through the top of your head. Imagine that flow energizing all of your body's energy centers, especially your heart. Notice the color of your heart energy and now send a beam of that energy to a person or a place that makes you feel wonderful. And fold that person or place with your heart energy beam and feel all the compassion and love that connects you with that person or place. 
tongue relaxed on the floor of your mouth. Big empty space between your eyes. Breathing six seconds in, six seconds out. And now expand that heart energy to embrace every single atom in the universe. Imagine your heart energy radiating out from your heart to send love and compassion to every single atom in the universe. Now narrow your heart energy focus again to just that one person or place that makes you feel wonderful. Detach your heart energy beam from that person or place and bring it completely back inside your own body. Affirm now with me, my heart energy feels good. My heart center feels good and I now allow the sense of well-being in my heart center to permeate my entire mind, my entire body my entire energy field. I feel all the gratitude, love, compassion, and joy in my heart. I celebrate all the gratitude, love, compassion, and joy in me, in this version of myself, in this emotional, physical, mental and spiritual state. I feel compassion for all the versions of me that still suffer. There are parts of my mind that suffer. There are parts of my body that suffer. There are parts of my history and past that suffer. And there are parts of my energy field that suffer. I now send this compassionate energy from my heart center to all those parts of me that suffer. Those parts of me that suffer mistake themselves for reality when in fact my reality is as this version of me in bliss, in compassion, in love. I sit now in this positive emotional state, centered in my heart, and I send compassion to all the parts of me that suffer. I send compassion to all the versions of me that suffer. I send compassion back through the timeline of my life to all the parts of me that suffered. I sit now in the part of me that is pure positive emotion, and I now send compassion to those parts of me that suffer. As my compassion touches those parts of me, it releases their suffering. As the compassion of the universe touches those versions of me, it releases their suffering. The compassion within me resonates with the compassion in the universe. And as this energy touches those versions of me that suffer, it releases their suffering. I now know myself as a version of me beyond suffering, as a version of me filled with love, gratitude, joy, and compassion. And from this version of me, I extend compassion to all the parts of myself that suffer. As I extend my compassion to those parts of myself, their suffering is released. Take a deep breath. Notice the big empty space behind your eyes. Notice the breath flowing in and out of your heart center. And as you focus on releasing the suffering self, tap gently on the side of your hand. 
affirm now with me, I release the suffering self and I step into my joy. Parts of me are suffering and as I step into my joy, as I hold those suffering parts in compassion, their suffering is released. Tap on the top of your head, suffering released. Tap with two fingers where your eyebrow meets the bridge of your nose, suffering released. Tap on the side of your eye, suffering self released. Tap under the pupil of your eye, suffering self released. Tap under your nose, release. Tap under your lower lip, release. Tap one last time on the side of your hand. I now release the suffering self and I step into compassion, joy, gratitude, and love. Stop tapping. Feel the breath flowing in and out through your heart. And with the next three breaths, bring your attention fully into the present moment. Into your environment. Into the here and now. With the third breath, open your eyes and look around. Notice what time of day it is. Notice the smallest square object in your environment. Notice how good your body feels. Notice the biggest green object in your environment. And give thanks knowing that anytime you choose, you can release the suffering self and move into this version of you that's filled with gratitude, compassion, love, and joy. So go ahead and sit up if you're laying down when you feel ready. Wiggle your hands and toes if you need to, if you're not all the way fully back. I would love for you to share in the comments your experience with that. <clears throat> and then again, I want to wrap up just by pointing out these elements that take this meditation into a deeper state so quickly. And I'd love to hear your own experience with that. If you've meditated quite a bit in the past, if you felt like you went into a deeper meditation quicker with this, um, that has always been my experience using this. But the reason for that, of course, is the tapping. So moving that energy out of your nervous system, using those EFT points as we walk through that. Breathing at six seconds is another key point that will take you into that meditation faster and deeper. Having the tongue completely relaxed on the bottom of your mouth activates the vagus nerve. And so that's also going to uh, regulate the nervous system and change those brain waves into the deeper theta wave uh, pattern more quickly. And then acknowledging the space. So as you noticed, we came back to several of these prompts throughout to keep you in that theta wave. A lot of times with meditation, our brain wants to go somewhere. And so it's key to continue to prompt the tongue is relaxed on the bottom of the mouth. 
the six second breathing, the space between the eyes. And the first time I felt the space for me personally in my hands and my feet between my eyes, it was so huge. There was so much space there. Like it was mind blowing to me. How can I, I feel like I have a whole universe in here, right? Which is really kind of a reality, but the space was endless and huge. It was just a really uh, impressionable moment in meditation for me personally, one that I won't forget. So SJ, you hit the theta waves way faster. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. It's definitely the design and help clear the heaviness in your chest. Awesome, Joni, I'm glad to hear that. So that is what I wanted to share with you guys here this evening. You know, it's one thing to understand our brain, how it works, to have things in the moment of reframe, changing perspective, but it's another thing to work, you know, truly within this personal development and personal growth path. Having some of these practices that we can use on a regular basis throughout our week, it helps so that we have fewer of those moments where we have to use the other tools and the other exercises. So I feel like this is such a valuable way to get into meditation and meditation, the science behind it, it's really undeniable the effects that it has on emotional health, physical health, mental health, or spiritual health across the board of the whole being. So uh, if you feel called, if you felt this was helpful, definitely apply these tools to your own meditation or come back and use this meditation as well to take you down into that deep space, release that suffering, get in touch with that compassion, extend the compassion out into the universe. It is going to just raise your vibration, bring you into a better state of being. And when you do that, it has a ripple effect out to others as well. So thank you for being here with me.